vocal about my support to Israel and the Jews. And uh, way before this whole massacre by the terrorists started, I've been very vocal about, also because we as a Hindu nation, what has been happening to Hindus and uh, even the Hindu genocide for centuries that continued, we identify a lot with Jews. And I strongly believe that um, as like we deserve a, a Bharat dedicated to Hindus, Jews also deserve one nation, you know, one nation on this. Uh, and they can't give us that one land is, uh, is rather inhuman and very uh, stingy of, <laughs> the, uh, you know, the Islamic world where they, ha they have the second largest amount of countries in the whole, on the whole globe, which is primarily dominated by Christian countries, more than 85 more. So, so I think uh, what you guys are fighting for is rightfully uh, yours. And I think we as a, a Hindu nation, we stand with Israel's cause. So uh, I really appreciate that because uh, when I hear you, I know that it's coming from deep understanding of the history and, uh, and everything. You know, there are all in all in the world there are 50 million Jews. Uh, I don't know one hundredth of the number of Muslims, for example. Uh, there are about 50 Muslim countries that define themselves as Muslims, and there is a very tiny country that is. Uh, 150 times goes into India 150 times. Not Israel. even of the size of Manipur. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a tiny country that we are trying to keep. You know, and what happened here, by the way, uh, Saturday, two and a half, seven, October 7 was, you know, it was not uh, Hamas, it was ISIS. So we, I always say we went to sleep the night before with Hamas as our neighbor, woke up with ISIS. I mean, this atroc these atrocities of, you know murder of full families, burning them, torturing them, uh, cutting, decapitating people, children, cutting limbs. And uh, the stories there, rape, the stories are really unbearable. And uh, we will have to take action. We are really emotional about the support we get here in India because, you know, I've been an, uh, I'm a veteran uh, d diplomat, third time ambassador. I've been in many friendly countries to Israel. But uh, the wide support that we get here from the people on social media and it is amazing. Because we ourselves have been suffering radical Islamic terrorism, whether it is Hamas or ISIS, you know, they even reached our parliament, you know, and every day there Remember, are so many... Bombed by the parliament. Yes, so. there were serious <coughs> bomb blasts, which are film movie pages that is coming. Uh, it is about India's Air Force mission um, and what we have suffered in 2611. Um, the brutality of Islamic terrorism, um, th that the story is same and probably that's why we identify so much with Jews. So I have to go and see the film and I wanted to say that uh, Prime Minister Modi, he, he has set the tone to the support because before we understood the magnitude of this disaster, already on Saturday, October 7th in the afternoon, he already came out with a very strong condemnation and continued for a second one after speaking to Prime Minister Netanyahu. And I think this is very, we don't need anyone to help us fight instead of us. But Mr. Modi is uh, known to support the underdogs. It's just one small nation, like you said, hardly a few <coughs> million handful of people fighting the entire Islamic Republic, which they're surrounded by. There's a sea of Islamic Repu Republic, and then there is a little, uh, you know, a small nation, tiny like a drop. Uh, in the ocean of that kind of intensity of population. So I think our Prime Minister has always supported underdogs and I think uh, that's, that's where um, his, his, his heart is that people who, uh, like you said, you, you guys do not need any sort of, but the moral support from the India support. is, is there and uh, we, we definitely are very affected by all the violence and brutality that we see every day. We deeply get affected by it because we also have a history of Mughal invasion where we were uh, beheaded and forceful conversions um, and all of that. So we, we get deeply affected. It's a part of our, that genocide is imprinted in our genetic code. So we, it gets triggered and it's, it's deeply affecting. But I think that also people, and I guess you get it, but people don't get it. You know, uh, the big fight against ISIS and these radical elements uh, was one, but not in, not in a, they are not gone, because the ideas and some of the people that dispersed there in different, less organized now, but the people are still there. And people don't understand that if the jihadist movement of Hamas, ISIS will prevail, it will give fuel 
to people all around uh, West Asia, Europe, other places, to regather, it will give them the feeling that they can overcome. And I will tell you, we are not going to be the, when it, this finishes, we are not going to be the underdog. We know that Iran is behind it, because Iran is also using different forces from Hezbollah, its own blood and flesh, to Hamas for many, many years, to the Houthis who shot at Israel, also from Yemen. So all the spider web is there, we understand that around us. But we will show. It's coming to bite them. It's Extremism bite them. is coming to bite them. Whether it is of the doom of Afghanistan or what is happening to Pakistan, the radical Islamic terrorism is coming to bite them. And it's just the story of raising a, a monster and then eventually the monster comes to eat you. It's the same story. But we will, I think we are going to, we have to eradicate the, the capacity of Hamas to ever again in the future execute such uh, uh, such horrors and, and it's important not only for this, it's important for us of course, Together but it's important for the world. Of course, and we, yeah, with the support of, again, moral support that we need from the world. And, and all the time people, when I said that the moral support of Prime Minister Modi G was very important, people thought, ah, it's only, no, it's not about, that's what we need. We need people to understand that, yeah, we are attacked on social media all the time, but what is important for us is that the friends, you know, you see the Americans in a very irregular move, move the, uh, 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 their uh, carriers and fleet into the eastern Mediterranean to send a message that they, they are there and not, not to escalate it beyond what is happening between Israel and Hamas. So our friends in Europe, India, around the world, the big democratic powers of the world are with us. And this is very important. I know that, uh, you know, there is the, the social media, it's a parallel world, not always realistic not always based on information, Some, a lot of times on misinformation yes, yes, and fake news. But yeah, there is a, an army which is about to, which is trying very hard to prove that the Israel cause is illegitimate, but I think it's it, with the worldwide support, whether it is India or America, it has been emphasized enough that the, the fight, Israel's fight for its own nation is very much legitimate. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank so you for much. your support. Thank, Thank you. you.